Okay, concrete roller screed. Marshallton product. Now they treat me pretty nice over there, but this will set you back still about two hundred plus dollars. A little under two twenty-five. Um, I do recommend calling direct. Now this the concrete roller screed is composed of these two ends with a four inch seamless aluminum pipe. Seamless because you can imagine if it was a seam pipe you would create every one revolution a little whip in your concrete a little defect in your concrete so look at it it looks it's almost as if it's a a gasket for um, uh, um, testing drainage for pressure you see you have a socket head screw along with this threaded connection here this is the end the tooling goes on that would rotate your whole entire system. You can see it's just a half inch drive with a configuration as such. I don't want to uh, reverse engineer it too much, just let you guys, if you have an interest, to look at that. Now, here is a uh, pair would be cast aluminum. I did not check it for magnetism. Just a rubber gasket with a beveled edge. Shake note by my thumb there. Beveled on each side. Similar to a uh, plumbing gasket. There's no patent on this. Um, patent, none presented. You can see they do a little little squaring up with some tooling there to get it flat. And that's the size of that configuration. They only use one socket head screw as opposed to two holes, one threaded. I guess to determine that's all that's needed to do this rotation without failure. Um, this is a lubrication point it appears to be that it would be functional so you do have to lubricate it this is also the part you would pull on the one end would pull on the other side would pull on with the rotating um, angle drill but this you would pull on and it set up that you could almost use a rope with it but I think a pipe would probably be better to be able to maintain it flush against the uh, screed on the opposite end so some type of a uh, pipe would probably be better too secure that and create a downward force and here we go so we take this little lady apart and off she comes and there you go it's the same deal these guys are of course this is going to be a four inch pipe they should be the same so there we are one and two and i just felt a defect here so i could see where that would be a pain and the casting would hurt you. Now we're looking at a class, uh, I don't know, class 8 bolt, I think I just saw back there. And this is the connection that you're looking at. It is lubrications on the outside here where, where um, you'd be pulling this. But the rotating part would actually be internal here against these walls. So this is basically a, a bushing. And... There we are on the thread count there. Let's take a look at that. So as we look at this and we look at the threads, looks like we've got, you know, not totally, they could have did a little more uh, major shank here, minor, major shank here to make it so it's totally rotting in the bushing. Uh, I'm sorry, on the major shank of this bolt. It is lubricated, so this is probably the part you'd want to keep lubricated. Um, the outside part is just for pulling, so therefore... Um, again, the lubrication should be, you should be inside here and not there. Interesting, I just did a video talking about how sometimes these designs aren't functional. This would be one of them where this is really not, that lubrication is really minimum out here, but internally is where lubrication will be more so because this will be locked in and it will be spinning. So, it would have been better to have it out here, some, you know, in, where it actually gets internal, internal to that bushing all right so what i'd show you that so this is the spin screed we are going to put it together when i say we we are talking about youtube right we are going to put this together and make this work we are going to give it a shot so once again this bushing is just right here again is friction right there is just going to be well no no the whole thing is going to be rotating spinning um, internally here. Once you compress it, 
this will all ret rotate as one. This ring and this will ret rotate as one around this bushing, and then we have another slip fitting, if you will. So ideally, it would create less friction as this is rotating any snag and any snag between this material and the bolt. This would then be relieved by this spinning, um, uh, able to rotate, if you will, uh, bushing. All right, so that's all I'm sharing with you. Just thought I'd get that going. Let you guys, oops, I guess I don't want to leave you with that. Get you guys a little lubricated in your mind about spin screed and see what we can do here. Hope you enjoy it. This is the concrete tip of the day. This would, uh, if this works out, we'll be able to cut uh, four inch aluminum pipe to any screed length and we'll see how it, how it operates, how it performs, specifically how it handles the paste of the concrete. And of course, the, when I say paste, I mean the cream, the top of the concrete. Don't want it too suppressed. I don't want it uh, throwing around too much paste. I don't want it pulling up too much paste initially. You are putting this down with a, uh, a low slump with concrete. Sorry, I was just there rubbing at it, just trying to see something earlier with it. Um, so you are putting this down with a low slump concrete, not a high slump. Who wants high slump concrete anyway? Unless, of course, you have uh, an, uh, a um, water reducer in there, which gives you the high slump, which is awesome. Super plasticizers. Bye.